I'm making a horror fishing game combining iron lung and big bass fishing. After playtesting last episode, I realized there's a couple things we need to add. Firstly, it's impossible to navigate and work out where you need to go. Now, of course, exploration is important, but it's also important to be able to finish the game and understand what's going on. So we're going to yoink a bit from Iron Lung and put in a simple map with all the limb checkpoints and the player. The reason you have this, uh, um, is, uh, well, there, there was a lake spirit which handed it to you, and your father is needed to save the lake, but also the lake spirit can't put your father back together themselves because... Um, uh, okay, well now we have the lore down, it's time to work out how to make it. I put a camera that looks down on the entire map, but we can't see the limbs. So, we put a sprite over them that only the minimap camera can see. And by making them a child of the limbs, they disappear once the player collects them. This camera is once again put to a texture that is put in front of the player camera via UI. Much like how we have the texture that downscales the resolution for the PlayStation style graphics. But now the world's too easy to get through. Of course, we can die if we run out of pride, but now we need a reason to be scared to explore the world. So, how do we make a monster? Well, first, I once again stole a model from online because I don't think a PNG monster is a great idea. So how will this monster move? Well, I want it to go around and eat other fish, so we'll give it a large hunting hitbox, where if it sees a fish in that zone, it'll start heading towards it. Um, yeah, okay, that's not what it's meant to do. So if we set a variable for the fish the big fish is looking at, then we can make it constantly look at that fish, and then we also just need to lock the Y value. This was just a really weird thing Unity was doing, and no matter what I would do to it, it would keep either going super far up or super down, so locking the Y value was a simple but effective solution. But what if it hits a rock? Well, currently our little fish will just pass through rocks until they get too far away and just delete themselves. But this guy needs to stay here. So I've added a box trigger collider that whenever the fish enters, it turns 90 degrees. But sometimes it's chasing a fish and gets caught, so I've also made it stop chasing any fish when it hits a wall to stop this. So the fish is scary to the world, but there's no reason for the player to be scared of it. So we need to make the big fish aware of the boat's presence. Whenever the player moves, a collider object is set to be active and if the big fish sees it, it's over for the player. The big fish locks on and starts to slowly crawl towards you. Yeah, we need to make it go a little faster while hunting. So we've got a basic scary guy. I've also added a trigger to prevent the big fish from leaving the main area, so you can't get attacked by him while you're chilling in the tutorial zone. I've also decided to place him in this small rock circle area, I don't know what it's called, but it's where the head is, so it's protecting the head. I might duplicate this guy and chuck more around, but for now we'll just have one. Now we have multiple endings? How exciting, I feel like a real indie horror game. Now to build on the world, I've also added a series of branches to block off the last remaining area, the altar, where you find the last body piece and put your dad back together. So I opened up Blender for the first time in forever, and after thousands of tutorials, I was ready to make the altar. It's beautiful. I then stole the rock texture and drew a funny little star and a circle on it. For now, as soon as you enter into that area, you win. I want to make it so you have to press a button to put your dad together, or maybe you can choose not to put him together, more lore, I don't know. I also want to add a little UI to show you the parts you've collected, but I may just put that in once I add a pause menu because I think having it constantly on the screen could make everything a little too cluttered. Okay, let's see if we can play the game. So I tried to play it and it, it wasn't really scary. I, I feel like you could get through the whole game and not be aware of the big fish. I'm gonna chuck three into this little area just to make sure getting head is a challenge. I mean, I mean getting the head. Yeah. Now we're gonna fix an issue that the game's been having for a while. The fish. They're PNGs. So it's time to plump them up. Once again, I borrowed some assets from my favorite artist and just replaced the images with 3D models. For some reason, they've got this weird rotation, but now we can actually see the fish in the water, making the whole fishing part a lot easier. And after some more bug fixing, version 0.3 is ready. 
Let's see if we can actually finish the game. Alright, that's it. The game is pretty close to finishing, we just need to add some menus, set up the altar, and build the world a little more. And also fix a lot of bugs. If you want to play an early demo, it's available on my itch.io page, and hopefully I'll release the full game soon. And if you want to see more of this game being developed, subscribe to follow along the progress. Cheers. Also, yeah, the, the game's already out. Um, it, it's been taking me a while to edit these devlogs and so I just finished the game and released it. The description should have a link to the game so go check it out. Next episode I'll just show you how I finished the project and how I released it.